Welcome to Epic Adventure Outfitters. Today we're installing the Goose Gear plate system for Jeep JLU Wrangler with a camp kitchen and double drawer module. Now it is possible to install just the plate system and if you wanted to, delete the 40 or 60% or even both rear seats. Additionally, Goose Gear makes various options for their drawer modules, fridge slides and more, so please see their website for details. First, make sure you have your ginger handy and that his beard is well groomed. If your ginger doesn't have a beard, throw it away and find another one. Okay, here goes. First have your ginger unpack all the modules and take inventory of all the items. Take a moment to marvel in the quality construction by opening and closing the drawers a few times. Here's the dreadfully boring rear of your Wrangler. The middle carpeted section just lifts out, no tools required. Next, remove all the junk you have in your cubby hole. Such a mess, so embarrassing. Using a separator or flathead screwdriver, pop the plastic covers off each of the six tie downs. You can then unscrew each tie down and thus remove the side carpeted panels from the Jeep. Fold down both rear seats. Have your ginger take the rear plate and set it down on the Jeep. It should fit perfectly flat and line up with the contours of the Jeep's plastic trim panels. Locate the hardware as shown. Anti-seize each of the six mounting bolts and carefully thread through the platform into the Jeep body. Then tighten each bolt. Be careful not to over tighten. Remember, it's wood we're working with here. Find the rear cover in the two mounting bolts. This will cover the rear scissor jack compartment. Okay, find the junk you removed from your cubby hole earlier and stuff it back in there. Nobody needs to know. Install the access door. From our experiences installing many of the Goose Gear modules, here's a pro tip. Drill out the holes to the mounting brackets just a little. This will help with the incredibly tight tolerances as you mount the modules onto the plate system. Remove the drawers and have your ginger place the unit onto the plate. You'll see that in this shot that the mounting brackets and plate holes don't line up. Don't worry about that quite yet. Next we move in the camp kitchen module. Very carefully back off the bracket bolts a few threads. This will allow you to slide the bracket forward and backward as needed. Line up the mounting brackets with the plate holes and loosely install the mounting bolts by hand. With the JLU, Jeep made the rear compartment shorter. Therefore, the typical A or B fridge will not work unless you remove both your back seats. In this case, we went with an angle fridge. Move the fridge into the camp kitchen. We are now going to ensure everything fits with the tailgate closed. You will be moving both modules forward or backward to line it all up, making sure that the fridge does not contact the tailgate when closed. Once you have everything lined up, tighten all the bracket bolts. Install the L-bracket to join the two modules. This will stop any contact noise. Reinstall your fridge and tie it down. For our camp kitchen, we typically use a Goose Gear medium utensils drawer and an 18-inch Cook Partner stove. 
We use little strips of 3M Velcro to hold everything in place. Reinstall the drawers. You are now finished your Goose Gear install. It is possible to have the camp kitchen on the right with the drawer module on the left. It's up to your personal preference. Make sure you consider where the fridge will plug in, as the Goose Gear module may block your stock 12 volt outlet. In any case, we suggest running a proper gauge wire directly from the battery. Here's the ginger in a sun hat demonstrating how to set up your kitchen. Wow, that was fast. We like to pair the Goose Gear setup with a tailgate table from Outback Adventures. And to christen this setup, we have Jacqueline cook us turkey carnitas for lunch. So delicious. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any Goose Gear questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Epic. Thanks for watching.